Welcome to the 2020 Western Sydney Local Health District Quality Awards broadcasting from Westmead Hospital. These awards are coming to you live, so I hope I don't stuff up. <laughs> I'm Rob Shahady, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a proud Westie. I'm very proud to be hosting your awards tonight. And my partner in crime is Channel 7 host and reporter, Samantha Brett. Hi, Rob. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm very jealous of you because you're on Channel 7 and I've always wanted to be on Channel 7. Like, I've done Channel 10, Channel 9, oh. SBS. I can't. I just want to be, like, on Home and Away. Why? Well, like, imagine me, like a Lebanese... I mean, I know why. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Like, imagine a Lebanese guy like me on Home and Away. The first thing I would do is knock the caravan park down and build units. That's what I would do. <laughs> but That's you know, probably why they haven't had you on yeah, yet. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But, you know, I'm excited for tonight. And you should be excited, too, because working with me, I'm going to make you a superstar. Because, Ooh. well, okay. look at Rebel Wilson. She worked oh. with me in Fat Pizza and now she's wow. in Hollywood. I made her famous. Okay. She's in Hollywood and I live near Granville. Um, so <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. But, but I'm going to be heading to Hollywood. That's what you're telling me. Yeah. All so right. don't forget me when you go there. And um, But I, I love the West. I'm a proud Westie. I've been here all my life. And, um, you know, if I win Lotta, I'll still live here. And Because we've got beautiful places in the, in the West. You know, there's, I don't know if you've gone on a romantic drive to the mountains. Have you ever been out to the mountains? Oh, like the Blue Mountains? No, Mount Jewett. Uh, <laughs> you've never been there? It's a great place. No, I've been to Mount Jewett. No, I love it. I love all good of, food. I love all of Western Sydney, but you know what? First up, let's get into some formalities. We'd like to acknowledge the Darug people who are the traditional custodians of this land. And we would like to pay respect to the elders, both past and present, of the Darug nation and extend that respect to other Aboriginal people present. And tonight is all about celebrating Western Sydney Local Health District staff for their innovative projects and awesome work throughout the year. We have heaps of watch parties happening. So mm. hello to everyone partying tonight. Hello at home. And make sure you have a blast and of course stay COVID safe and lather up that sanitizer. Mm, it's gonna get sanitizer party time. For 2020, isn't it? Now I can't wait to announce this year's quality awards winners. We have an exciting program ahead, so make sure your devices are plugged in. And we always say switch off your devices for these sorts of things, but tonight, no, they need to be switched on. Also make sure that popcorn is ready to go. From the news desk this year, we have seen a lot and we've seen our healthcare heroes respond to the bushfires at the beginning of the year and then of course the COVID pandemic, saving lives and keeping people safe. This year, Western Sydney local health district staff submitted 52 innovative projects for a chance to win a 2020 quality award. Now tonight we announce winners in 11 categories focusing on quality and innovation. Peak Awards will also be announced, including the Chief Executive Award, Board Chair Award and the ever-popular People's Choice Award. Get this, Rob. It actually had 16,000 votes this year. Wow, that's massive. I think half of that's my... Um my first cousins, maybe. I don't Did know. you put it on your Twitter, I think? Well, yeah. And that's how they yeah, yeah, they're, all they're voted all, in. They're all watching right now. But <laughs> now tonight we're also announcing the first ever Western Sydney Local Health District Employees of the Year. This includes awards, awards for the nurse, doctor, allied health and corporate services professionals of the year. This officially makes you the best of the West. Mm. Now let's introduce some special guests who are with us on stage. Tonight we are joined by Western Sydney Local Health District Chief Executive Graham Loy and the Executive Director of Nursing, Midwifery and Clinical Govern Governance, Carol Farmer. They will both be revealing our Quality Awards winners. Also, a warm welcome to Aboriginal Elder Chris Tobin who is in the room tonight. And later in the evening, we will be joined by Allied Health Director Jacqueline Dominish and Medical Services Executive Director Dr. Emin McCann, who will announce the Employee of the Year Awards. Big night. Yes, and of course, a big warm welcome to everyone who has tuned in tonight in your pyjamas and Ugg boots. Maybe not tonight because it's very warm tonight. Maybe just in your underwear. But and you all, <laughs> Yeah, well, you all rock and um, I wish I was in my pyjamas right now, but we want to hear from you, everyone. Make sure we'll be looking out for your comments online. So post away on our Facebook live stream. We may even share some of your posts later on. Yeah, we will be doing that. So I really want everyone to write in. You can comment on Rob's outfit here, look, looking very schmick. Thank schmic. you very much. Um, you can comment on my, my sequence. Yeah, look, I am look. wearing heels. I would pre prefer to be wearing Ugg boots, though. Yeah, true, but you look very short <laughs> next to me. Um, now, 
To formally open the proceedings, I'd like to introduce Darug Elder Chris Tobin. The Katoomba resident joins us tonight to deliver a welcome to country and officially open the proceedings for this evening. Thank you. <coughs> Budri Waragal, everyone. Uh, good evening and Nalawa, welcome. Uh, I'd like to begin by paying my respects to the Aboriginal countries that we're all meeting on and living on, um, wherever, wherever you are, uh, and particularly uh, pay my respects to the, um, to the Darig people who are the traditional custodians of Baramadigal country in Westmead, where we're broadcasting from. Now, um, the, the welcome to countries are one of the beautiful features of contemporary Australia. Uh, an acknowledgement of the country is an acknowledgement of the Aboriginal people, but also of the country itself. It's uh, a beautiful thing that we do. It's not intended to divide us as much as unite us as a people that respect justice and truth. So I'm very uh, honoured to be here to, to be uh, welcoming you and acknowledging country. Um, country for Aboriginal people uh, is, is a beautiful concept, really. It, it, it extends, it's not just the trees and the waterways, it extends to the brother and sister creatures who also have their homes here, and um, to you and me, the, the people of the country. Uh, we, it's not just us, it's our ancestors, it's also the people that come after us, uh, which uh, in Aboriginal culture we're little, we arrive as little spirit babies from the, the spirit world. Um, so it, the, the well-being of, of us is really the well-being of all of those creatures. Uh, in, it, we're taught that uh, we, we're, country is like a, a beautiful basket where we're all connected and we're all part of. And it's um, important that we make decisions on the well-being of all of those uh, elements in country. And well-being is what we're all here for. I'd like to take the opportunity now too to thank um, everyone in Western Sydney Health. Uh, people look to you for uh, leadership and guidance these days and I'm pleased with your profession. There's a lot of care and consideration that you practice. So I, I feel we're in good hands. Um, last time I was doing the Welcome to Country for the awards here, um, I, I did share also that my son was uh, joining the health service too, training to be a doctor. I'm pleased to report he's finished his exams and I'm now the proud father of Dr. Joshua Tobin. Um, he's, uh, he's starting his internship next year He's on a bit of a break at the moment, somewhere out on the trails of Catherine. He's out of range for five days. Um, but he's been studying since he was six, so we think he's deserved a break. Mind you, he's still tutoring uh, when he's in range, so maybe he's not getting that much of a break. But I don't worry too much. He's, he's a very balanced young man, um, climbs mountains, goes uh, skiing, diving, all those things. Very unlike me. We're very proud of him. Um, in, in fact, uh, yeah, he, he's, he's hoping to, to come back here shortly and, and, and begin work, so um, all the best to him and all the best to all of you. Uh, I know he's in good hands. He's in it for, to help and serve, and I believe most everyone here is there for the same reason. So thank you. Keep doing what you're doing, uh, and have a lovely evening. Yano, did you go? Thank you, Chris. That was so inspirational. Best wishes to your son as well, the doctor. What an inspiring story. We can't wait to see all the great work that your son does as well. Now, hang on a second. What has happened? I have lost Rob. Anyone know where Rob is? Yeah, Sam, I'm here at the uh, watch party. As you can see behind me, it's like, it's going sick here, man. Like not emergency department sick, but like fully sick. These people are just going crazy here. And I'm here with HR boss, Lucy Caswell. Welcome. I mean, this is great. I mean, yeah. I know it's COVID, but we have to be a little bit different. But well, is, who's the biggest party here? Let's... Well, I'd say, you know, they're all in competition, but we have to give them Look at this outfit. Here. How amazing is this outfit? <laughs> I actually thought it was a disco ball. I was going to start dancing with her, but um, this is great. Thanks for coming tonight. Sure. And, um, you know, we, we've been talking as well. Uh, we're trying to organise me a bronze statue of myself outside the hospital. Isn't that right? Mm. What do you reckon? Mm. Have I got a chance? Maybe. That's a lot of bronze. You've got to use that. <laughs> But um, it's been a, uh, it's, it's going to be a good night tonight and yep. um, thank you for coming tonight and um, have you organised me a kebab because I see there's some food here. Oh, yep. here we go. This looks like an Olympic torch. I'm just going to light this up and run <laughs> off. Thank you for the kebab. Wow, it's going off here, Sam. <laughs> it really is, Rob. <laughs>
And I agree with you about those outfits, giving me a run for my money with all those sparkles. But yes, thank you to all those people for coming down and, and celebrating in this beautiful watch party and all getting dressed up and getting into the spirit because of course it has been a difficult year and we are doing this online. So it's a little bit different, but we hope that you're all getting into the festivities and enjoying it just as much as if we were in person. And hopefully next year we will be back all together in person once again. So while we wait for Rob to come back, I would like to introduce Western Sydney Local Health District Chief Executive Graham Loy to say a few words to everyone. Thanks very much, Samantha. So I'd also like to commence by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet, the Barramatical people of the Darug Nation, and pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging, and to everyone who's with us here tonight. So 2020 has been a massive year for us. You know, think back 12 months, even before bushfires, we had droughts. So at this point in time, last September, I was trying to figure out how to wash my car. So then we rolled into the catastrophic bushfires that we had all year, and we had staff going everywhere. We had mental health teams going down the coast, helping bushfire victims, trying to do everything we could to support them. And then along comes COVID-19. 23rd of January, I get the phone call down the coast, trying to go back to a space where we got evacuated from over Christmas, only to get the phone call to say, it's here and we need to step into action. And, and didn't we just do that? I have been constantly amazed by the actions and the reactions and the efforts by all of our staff. You have done an amazing job. You step up and you come to work every day to support our patients and equally as importantly to support each other. You know, we, we're making sure we're safe, we're making sure that we're looking after patients and you are just amazing every day. But we've had some big achievements as well. We've seen over two million patients through our emergency departments. We've had a new home birthing service open up at Westmead. We've had over 100,000 people tested for diabetes in our emergency departments. You know, we've trained thousands of our staff. We've tested over 250,000 people for COVID, all the while making sure that we've got a focus on safety and quality. So tonight's all about you. Make sure you tune in, make sure you enjoy it. Celebrate the little wins. They're 52 fantastic entrants, but they are just the 52 that, we've got to, that were submitted. And the finalists are just the ones that won tonight. Every single one of you have been working absolutely flat out, doing amazing things in your normal time, in your normal day, and just looking after yourselves and the patients. So thank you very much, you are amazing. I'd like to introduce um, the Premier Gladys Berejiklian, who's gonna say a few words, a few words in her busy times. She's done a fabulous job as the Premier, um, and we're really lucky to have her, have her support us tonight. So over to you, Gladys. To everybody at the Western Sydney Local Health District, firstly, a heartfelt thank you for keeping all of us safe. You have done an amazing job in making sure people are getting tested, that people are doing all the COVID safe things uh, to keep all of us safe. And you're also putting yourselves on the front line, sacrificing your own health and wellbeing to support everybody else in the community. And to everybody being acknowledged today, heartfelt congratulations. But I know that behind every successful person or every person getting acknowledged today, there are so many peers, so many colleagues and family members and friends who support you in your efforts every day. And uh, I'm incredibly proud to be your Premier, incredibly proud to oversee a health network that has done an amazing job and please keep going. We deeply appreciate it. And to everybody being acknowledged, heartfelt congratulations. And I know what you've been doing will be a source of inspiration for others. Thank you, Graeme, and thank you to the Premier. And how good is Gladys? I mean, she's done a fantastic job. She's been working very hard mm. and um, I'm bloody glad I don't have that job <laughs> because I don't know if I could do it. No, and I think she deserves a holiday. I don't know when she's going to get one. Um, but yes, Premier, you deserve a holiday. All right, now we've got lots of people watching from home. Let's see what they are saying about us on social media. Now, Rob, I've got some comments here and I won't say they're saying about us. It's more about you. Me? <laughs> what have I done? You're very popular <laughs> with the commentators. So one social media comment says, no logies, no worries, Rob. Um, great stuff on hosting the event. Hashtag celebrating heroes. Hashtag looking sharp. Yeah, thank there you, you go. very much. I do like the suit, is it new? Um, yeah, well, Roger David. Okay. Top, top notch. <laughs> is that well, your mate? It looks all right. Yeah, it's like a cousin. <laughs> Does yeah. it sound like a cousin of mine, Roger David? Don't think so. <laughs> Um, okay, another social media comment. Wonderful show. This is also to you, Rob. Break a leg or a kebab. Hashtag extra garlic sauce, please. Wow. Well, if I break a kebab, it means I've got to share it. So I won't be breaking the kebab, but thank you very much. 
All right, we'll keep your comments coming. Yes, and in everyone, please stay tuned to the show. We have lots of winners to announce and a special treat for you at the end of the program. Now it's time to start announcing the awards and I'm so excited for this, Sam. I'd love mm. to know who's going to win this. So the first award we're announcing tonight is in the Transforming Patient Experience category. And the finalists are Just Ask It and Healthy Eating Using Art Therapy. And the winner of this award is Just Ask It. Well done. Hospital wanted to create a more culturally welcoming environment for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander patients. This started by training frontline staff to ask the question about how patients identify. Upgrades included displaying Aboriginal flags and a map of Indigenous Australia. And by putting a welcome to country video on all patient screens, Aboriginal patients now feel more comfortable sharing their cultural identity. Congratulations, guys. Now, on to the next award. The finalists for the Delivering Integrated Care category are Pathways to Community Living Initiative and Growing Little Language Learners. Thanks, Sam. And the winner is Pathways to Community Living Initiative. Yeah. The District Mental Health Service has been working closely with patients during long-term hospital stays to help them move back into the community. The team works with families, carers and community mental health services to meet the unique needs and desires of each patient and to put their quality of life at the forefront. In four years, they have helped more than 100 people move out of hospital and back into the community. A win for everyone involved. Congratulations. All right, now the finalists for the patient safety first category are treatment after triage and keeping clozapine patients safe during COVID-19. And the winner of this important category is keeping clozapine patients safe during COVID-19 pandemic. Brilliant effort. The COVID-19 pandemic has been a challenging time for mental health patients, especially those on clozapine to manage schizophrenia. Blacktown Clozapine Clinic embraced an innovative approach combining telehealth check-ins with on-site services and home delivery of medication to keep patients safe and manage their anxiety. So far, all 160 patients have remained mentally stable with no hospital admissions or relapses due to COVID-related stress or anxiety. Well done, guys. All right, the finalists for the Keeping People Healthy category are Quitting for Two and COVID Street Fighters. Carol? Okay, and the winner is COVID Street Fighters. Well done. The Youth Health Service wanted to help vulnerable groups who were at risk during the pandemic, including people experiencing homelessness. They set up a flu vaccine outreach service in the community which also gave them the opportunity to screen for COVID-19 symptoms and share important health information. By June, they had vaccinated more than 500 people, referred 69 symptomatic people for testing and helped keep the most vulnerable in our community safe. Great win by COVID Street Fighters. I love that. It sounds like a game yeah. that's going to come out on PlayStation. <laughs> but I've actually met these people, Rob. Um, I interviewed them for a story for Channel 7 and just the passion that comes through um, from these nurses and just the most incredible work and hearing their stories, how they went out onto the streets during this pandemic, risking their own lives to help others. I just thought it was absolutely amazing. So congratulations, guys. Very inspiring. Yeah, there have been some truly amazing projects here tonight. Now, I'm sure we can all agree 2020 has been a real shit year. <laughs> I'm going to say it like that because it has. And um, let's be honest, it has been a shocker. But from what I can see, Western Sydney local health district staff stayed positive and did what they had to do for the community, which is very important. And, mm. um, and let's take a moment to have a look at some of the highlights from across the year. So, can you message take? One.
Are you recording that? And there's a blooper for you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a, what a great package. That was awesome. What a bunch of legends there. And I, I did yeah. see Greg Page there, he's a good friend of mine. And I thought I saw Carl Barron in there somewhere, but <laughs> maybe it's not him. But anyway, <laughs> now let's continue with announcing some more Quality Award winners. Yes, now the finalists for the Supporting Our Teams category are Better Outcomes for Obsessive, Compulsive and Related Disorders and Workplace Wellness in the Time of COVID-19 and Beyond. And the winner for this amazing award is Workplace Wellness in a Time of COVID and Beyond. <laughs> After the challenges of COVID-19, the people and culture team needed to quickly redesign services to support our entire workforce's needs, including being informed, supported, focused and valued. Some of the creative initiatives included workplace wellness teams checking in on staff, a call centre, childcare services, colouring activities. The result is a physically, mentally and emotionally healthy workforce through COVID and beyond. Congratulations. The finalists now for the safe and healthy workplace category are Contain the Contagion and Where Art Thou Meds? Okay, thank you. The winner is Contain the Contagion, a clinician mission to eradicate transmission. Which presented a transmission risk with COVID-19. The integrated and community health team quickly created a video outlining a safe process, including pre-visit screening, use of personal protective equipment, hand hygiene and cleaning or disposal of equipment. The training helped nurses feel knowledgeable, safe and supported while out doing their essential work in the community. I love the hand sanitizer dance. Yeah. I think that's the dance of 2020. Oh, no. The boomerang with the hand sanitizer. <laughs> All right, the finalists for the innovation and research category are Dispensing with Paper, Australian first implementation of e discharge scripts, and PPE Predict. And the winner for this category, very well deserved. ACI and CEC have picked up this work and are looking to see how we can roll it out across the state. PPE Predict, well done. COVID-19 created unprecedented need for personal protective equipment or PPE in hospitals around the world to keep staff safe while treating patients. This project team created a complex mathematical model to not only keep track of stock, but also predict ongoing need based on the type of patients in hospital. The model has helped ensure the district has always had enough PPE to protect staff and give every patient the care they need. Wow, I'm, like, I'm not impressed that they won the award. <laughs> I'm impressed by that ladies running man. Yeah, very or running, impressive. running lady, I don't know. We've got to be PC, so. That's right. Um, but in all seriousness, these are people that are working on these projects while they are doing these jobs, these full-time jobs, um, you know, working, saving lives, and they're coming up with this. That project, actually, they came up with that in just two weeks, and that is just quite incredible, being rolled out across New South Wales. So congratulations, guys. Great work, yes. And the... Uh, the finalists for the education and training category are Short But Sweet, which is not me, and Flipping COVID Face Down. And the winner is Flipping COVID Face Down. Yeah. <laughs> Doctors around the world reported that COVID-19 patients benefited from proning, a difficult procedure to slowly and carefully turn unwell people onto their stomach. Physiotherapy staff at Blacktown and Mount Druitt hospitals took on the challenge with education and training to pick up this new skill. Their improved confidence and teamwork meant the physios were ready to assist any patients and staff in intensive care who needed their hands-on help. All this dancing, so good, huh? Oh, no, they, they the were, new move. Look like wrestlers. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and that is the end of the eight categories. And now it's time to announce the peak.
Quality Awards. So over to you, Graham. Excellent. Thanks, Samantha. So the first one is the Chief Executive's Award. Always the hardest one to pick. I have to go through all of the award categories. And you know, knowing that there's so much going on that doesn't even make it through to tonight's finalists, everyone's a winner. But I had to pick someone, and I went for the group that probably did the most for the whole of us. So this is the team that has seen over 16 and a half thousand, sorry, six and a half thousand um, visits with each of you. It's the wellness, the workplace wellness in the time of COVID and beyond team. Congratulations to the People and Culture team for taking home their second gong in the 2020 Quality Awards. The entire team demonstrated extreme flexibility, creative problem solving and astoundingly quick turnaround to redesign their services and support the workplace well-being of all Western Sydney local health district staff. Great effort. Now we would like to uh, welcome the Western Sydney Local Health District Board Chair, Richard Alcock, to present the Board Chair Award. Good evening. Good evening. I hope you're enjoying your watch parties on this great night of our annual quality awards. I've been in awe of the work that you've done this year, observing the way that you've innovated in delivering care in new ways. The winner of the 2020 Quality Awards Board Chair Award is Keeping Clozapine Patients Safe. What an important project. On behalf of the Board of Western Sydney Local Health District, can we say how proud we are all, of all of you. Congratulations to Blacktown Community Mental Health Services. A dual winner tonight in the 2020 Quality Awards, the team at the Blacktown Clozapine Clinic embraced innovative models of care and enhanced community partnerships to keep vulnerable patients safe and stable through the COVID-19 pandemic. Congratulations and uh, thank you, Richard, who I actually thought was Kevin Rudd for a second, <laughs> but uh, it, it's, it wasn't. So. Look, I thought you were George Clooney for a second here tonight. You look fantastic, Rob. Around, around the earlobes, I reckon I look like him. That's I think about so. it. <laughs> yeah. All right, now it's time for your say as we announce this year's People's Choice Award. Graham, can you please do the honours? Yeah, would love to. Thanks very much. So uh, the People's Choice Awards the one that you get to vote for. Over 16 and a half thousand votes for this, all done online um, in a very, the new COVID world that we live in. So, um, and there's no great surprise that this award involves babies. The winner is newborn education and skills training. Auburn hospital nurses and midwives wanted more education and training to care for newborn babies. The maternity department partnered with experts from Westmead Hospital Neonatal Intensive Care Unit to provide stimulation training based on real cases, giving staff hands-on experience with life-saving procedures. The nurses and midwives improved their confidence, knowledge and skills, as well as their understanding of specialised equipment to help give any baby the best start to life. Congratulations. Now, don't go anywhere because our inaugural Employee of the Year winners are still to come. But first, let's see what is happening at another watch party. Hi! <laughs> oh. Wow, they're going off there. Look at them. <laughs> And that's it. Very cool. They just stand around. That's a. St <laughs> All right, guys. Um, now we are going to announce the winners of the 2020 Employee of the Year Awards. I just want to say thank you for that celebration because everyone at home is doing the same thing. So it's a little bit awkward with the social distancing, but I think we're all getting the gist of all of this. So um, we now have executive directors, Dr. Emma McCann and Jackie Dominish, 
they will join Carol and Graham to reveal the recipients. This is the first time these awards are being presented at the Quality Awards, which is very exciting, Rob, the first time. So the categories for the Employee of the Year are Doctor, Nurse, Corporate Services and Allied Health Professional. So let's begin with the 2020 Nurse of the Year. Carol, over to you. Thank you. This is pretty special. We have over 5,000 nurses across Western Sydney Local Health District. And you know what? They probably all should win an award. So, but this is um, for a nurse who has stood out. Um, for this person, nurse, patient safety is a number one priority and she ensures that all efforts are put in place to achieve this. This nurse is the clinical nurse educator at Blacktown Hospital and her name is Pradeepa, Pradeepa Salvaraj. Thank you. Honour to announce the inaugural um, Doctor of the Year for 2020. This person has been essential in assisting the executives in developing a COVID-19 response for Auburn Hospital. And the winner is... Dr. Alpha Tung, Head of Anaesthetics Department at Auburn Hospital. Well done. Okay, excellent. Over to me. So I get the pleasure of announcing the uh, Corporate Services Employee of the Year. So, you know, as much as the uh, nurses and doctors like to think that they are the front line, really it's corporate services that are. But don't tell them I told you that. Um, this employee has done a fantastic job, is part of our front line of defence, meeting everyone that comes through the door and making sure that we provide the best environment that we can to keep us all safe. The winner is Rory Dunlop, a cleaner from Blacktown Hospital. Okay, good evening everyone. It's also a pleasure to make this announcement of an outstanding allied health professional working in the district. It's a tricky one to provide because allied health, we have 23 professions, 1,355 staff, um, but this person is extremely deserving and has been working very hard this year. They've worked tirelessly to address a number of risks, both clinical and of an enterprise in nature. And the winner of the award is the Acting Head of Podiatry at Westmead Hospital, Samantha Tate. Wow, congratulations to all those winners. Thank you, Carol, Emma, Jacqueline and Graham. And a huge congratulations again. What an exciting honour for them all. Yes, and uh, Sam, let's take a break and check in with another watch party. Let's see what they're up to. Let's cross to the district's uh, people and culture team who are probably partying very hard <laughs> after their award win earlier this evening. Let's have a look. I don't know what they're up to. Um, oh, 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 geez. <laughs> what is that? Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't know what's happening there, but um, mate, let's cut that. Uh, I think that's actually. Yeah, I think. I, I think, think that's, that's yeah. actually footage from um, Marquee Nightclub at oh. uh, Star City. But okay, let's, your let's, mates. Yeah, they're going off, man. They're just pumping. But anyway, I think we should go to the proper party. Let's. Uh, can we get the proper one, please? Go. What are we up to? Here we are. Oh, oh look at that! There she is. There's the, there's the disco ball, and look at this guy with the glasses. Yep. He's got a bow tie. Like I feel like he's going to play a snooker game. Um, <laughs> And, and then, oh, sorry, I just noticed the lion in the background. So oh. that little statue of the lion, I love it. My dad's got one in his front yard. Um, I did love that lion, yes. Yes, so uh, anyway, there you go. They're having a good time. So good to see that everyone is having such a fantastic night tonight. Now, I'd love to introduce a superstar to the stage, Matthew Dino. Matthew is only 11 years old and is super talented. The Year 5 student has written and composed a beautiful song as a tribute to frontline workers responding to COVID-19. Matthew also has a magnificent voice. This song is called Superheroes in Disguise and was inspired by his own parents who are both nurses. 
here at Westmead Hospital. Now, the staff here at the district recently filmed a music video for Matthew at Westmead Hospital. And tonight, the video will premiere for the first time for everyone watching. Matthew, you are here with me tonight. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very, very nervous, but <laughs> very awesome at the same time. Good to hear, because we are all so, so proud of you. And what inspired this song? My parents actually inspired me to do this song because of their tough jobs they have to do here as in the hospital. And when they'd come home from work, I would normally just ask them, oh, how was your day? And they would like say, it was good, but mostly tiring. To me, this represents how hard the frontliners, how everyone yeah. who's trying to help it's very tough. Yeah, and just how hard they work and that you recognise that at your young age is just so amazing. So we're thrilled to have you here. Let's show everyone your beautiful song, Matthew. Let's take a look. I believe in you. You're a I see. How good was Absolutely that? Absolutely brilliant. I love it. Have you yeah. been compared to Justin Bieber? No. <laughs> Not no. yet. Well, I think well, he is going to go very far. He will go far. You're a good kid, Especially Matthew. Especially now and, knowing Rob. He yeah, makes well, ce he, uh, celebrities. I'll introduce you to uh, <laughs> Justin Habiba. And, um, but you know what? Um, I, I've got musicians in my family. My uncle's a very famous country singer. His name's um, Salim Dusty. <laughs> Look him up. Uh, he's pretty good. But, uh, <laughs> um, Matt, well, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you to your gorgeous mum, Sheila, who's also here tonight. I'm sure she is so, so proud. Um, we wish you all the best with your music career and your future. And I'm very sure we'll be seeing more of you in the future. In fact, I've heard, and I don't know if I'm allowed to tell everyone, but that you might be appearing on Sunrise on Channel 7 on the weekend. Oh. So everyone, yeah. Good work. <laughs> Hey, so that will be I'm very still exciting. trying to get on Channel 7. I can't get on. <laughs> You'll have your on? chance. Oh, what's going on? Do I have to sing a song? You have you're to write the your devil own. in disguise. I don't know. He's singing. Anyway. <laughs> well, Sam, you know, we've come to the end of this year's Quality Awards. It's been really good. And, um, you know, it's been an honour to join you hosting this event and to honour the amazing work of health staff in Western Sydney. You're all amazing. We love you. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for everything you do. And for keeping us all safe, it means a lot to us. Thank you very much. Rob, it's been an absolutely amazing night. It's been an absolute honour to be here for both of us tonight. We hope everyone has had fun at home. Um, you know, this, I know this is unusual watching at home on Zoom, but I think, you know, this is the way that we are this year. Hopefully next year it will be very, very different. But like Matthew said, every one of the health staff at Western Sydney LHD is a superhero in disguise. We've been honoured to learn all about your stories tonight. Congratulations to all the award winners and everyone who shows up every single day to support Western Sydney and this community. We are in absolute awe of you. Congratulations again. Good night, everyone.